Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how to integrate Nux3 and Tailwind CSS3 or in simple words, how to use Tailwind CSS3 in a Nux3 project. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so we'll be creating a fresh Nux3 app. We won't be uh, upgrading from Nux2 or Nux3 or something like that. We'll be doing it in a fresh one. This is in a beta version. So at your own risk, you might want to use it in production because uh, there are some it's not matured yet in simple words and also for nux2 you can i'm pretty much sure you should be able to use tailwind css3 but if you are not let me know in the comment section and if you are able to do it let me know in the comment section how did you do it for nux2 okay so let's go with the nux3 one so let's copy this command let's go in our browser terminal and let's initiate a nux3 app so now you'll see nux3 there is a nux3 which is a nux3 cli here I will give the project name as nux3 tailwind3 and this will create a very basic folder and uh, it will just be like few files here and there and let's now uh, go inside that folder so we can see it properly. Let's open this with VS code and then here you will see that we have a very minimalistic uh, project structure. So let's quickly run npm install. It will install all the dependencies. It will take a bit of time. I'll skip this part of video and get back to it once. Okay, all the packages are installed now. So let's go forward and let's go to Tailwind CSS. So here you will see that there are steps for installation of uh, Tailwind CSS3. So how did I reach here? You go to the main screen then get started. Then from the main screen get started. Then framework guides and then next JS and you'll see the documentation here. So we need to skip the first section because we created the next three app. This is for Nux2. So we need to skip the first section. We will go to the next one. Here we will just install till auto prefixer. We don't need Nuxt uh, post CSS8. It's not compatible for now. So we'll copy this command, go over here, paste it. And I like to do it in one go, uh, this NPS Tailwind CSS in it as well. So if you're on Windows, you can do something like double ampersand and do NPX Tailwind CSS in it. So it will run the installation first and then it will need the config file for Tailwind CSS. So let's do it in one go like this and let's wait till it installs. Okay, that's done. Now let's go back over here and you, you will see that we have a Tailwind config.js file which will contain the configuration of our final Tailwind bundle. So that's fine. Now let's go back over here and we just need to also skip this part as well of build modules and we need to go straight over here okay so how to do this now we need to go to our build oh sorry nuxt config.ts here you will see that few things are changed now there is define nuxt config then we will go over here and just have a build object so we'll type that there build inside that there will be post css uh, which is this one and inside that post CSS there will be post CSS options and inside those post CSS options We will have these options. So we will need to copy this plugin part go over there and put it over there like this Okay, simple now next thing we need to do is after the build part we need to have the CSS So we'll say CSS part and where we need the CSS to come from So we need to tell that there will be an assets folder shortly so there will be something like this assets folder inside that assets folder there will be a css folder and there will be main.css okay and then we will create here one assets folder so we'll call it assets inside that assets we will create a new file as main uh, let's create a folder because let's we can also straight away create main.css but let's keep it let's suppose you have javascript files then you can separate it so css this and then we will have a new file in that CSS as main.css. Okay, uh, so here we just need to add those tailwind uh, utility base and components thing. So let's copy these three lines, let's go over there and let's paste them. Now you can also do tree shaking by uh, adding these things in your uh, tailwind config.js over here. We'll just add those things over here. So what this says is whichever uh, so it will go in all these folders and their individual files. And in that thing, whichever classes are not used, Tailwind CSS classes are not used, it won't consider their CSS or it won't create CSS for them in its final bundle. So we also need to add the app.view over there. So we'll say app.view because there where we will be writing our testing code. 
So we will just remove this nup welcome from here and here we will do something like this. So it will say h1 class. Let's give it text red of maybe 400. And here this is a tailwind test. Okay, if this works, that means tailwind is working fine. No problem in that. So let's do npm run dev. There it is. Now let's copy this URL and which is a localhost URL simply. Let's paste it on our browser and let's see. And there it is. Tailwind CSS is working well and good with NUX3. So that's all in this video. Hope you like this video. If you have any uh, feedback on this or if you have done something differently, do let me know in the comment section and also do let me know if you have tried integrating Tailwind CSS3 with NUX2 and how did it go. Okay, so see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.